Tonight we are hearing from a Myrtle Beach woman who is navigating a rare and terminal cancer. But as ABC 15's Simon Williams shares, that diagnosis hasn't smothered her spark. Instead, it's clearly revealed she has reasons to live. Why are we here? Maybe you've spent time pondering that question. Maybe you've found there's no easy answer. But speak to Lori Doss and you'll hear a rarity. Our purpose here is to love each other. Clear, confident thoughts following life-altering news during a doctor's appointment. In just one day, she went from routine diabetes lab work to a hematologist and then the ER. So once we were at the ER, she ordered a CAT scan and a blood transfusion. And by the, before I could ever get the transfusion, doctor came in and told me I had terminal and inoperable cancer. Neuroendocrine tumors, a rare and aggressive cancer. My mom and my aunt, my brother and his wife, my niece, cousins came to see, wanted to come see me right away. So when I met with the doctor, I told her I wanted to wait. She wanted to start chemotherapy. And I told her I wanted to wait a week so that I could visit with them. And she told me it'll be too late. A diagnosis so rare, a chemo plan so intense, it's hard to even imagine what that feels like try to do it in the best possible humor as possible and go on. And humor is exactly what she means, making jokes and staying 100% authentic to who she's always been. My husband will ask me something, I'll be like, no, I'm cancer. Um, even in the hospital, the nurse asked me to do something and I told her no. And she said, why no? And I said, what's gonna happen if I don't? You gonna give me cancer? <laughs> <laughs> she says it's important to laugh, even when she talks about planning her own funeral. At the end, I think I want to play uh, Build Me Up Buttercup and then somebody shoot off a cannon of white feathers. <laughs> <laughs> you think about that song and the beat, you can't be sad to that song. You're not going to leave here sad. No. <laughs> <laughs> now she says there is one thing that makes her sad. It's the only topic of our hours long conversation that brought tears. I have a grandson whose birthday is the same day as mine. And I worry about future years after I die, how he's going to um, how he's ever going to have a happy birthday. She shared this photo of the two celebrating their birthday this month and says his response to her diagnosis was a wish to have a few more of these celebrations together. Having that sort of love with somebody, they trust you that much and they love you that much that you're what they want and you can heal them and help them and teach them. That's just the most amazing thing in the world. So her goal right now, staying around long enough for her eight grandkids to remember her. The youngest is one and a half years old. I keep telling myself, well, I've got two to three years. And the doctor, she said, uh-uh, that's best case scenario. But I'm very stubborn. And if there's any way possible for me to see those babies long enough for them to remember me, that's what's gonna happen. Months after that day in the ER, it's pretty clear that CAT scan revealed a lot more than her diagnosis. The nicest car, the nicest house or whatever. And let me tell you from where I'm sitting, those things aren't very important. We all need to plan for our future, but don't get so hung up on it that you miss what's in front of you. A clear view of the existential answer of what really matters. I feel like I've been given a gift. I can make sure People know I love them and I say things to people that I might not have otherwise. Sharing her experience, hoping it brings inspiration, an eternal gift. You get to the end of something and it stops, but then you go somewhere else. It doesn't mean you can't take a few little things with you. In Myrtle Beach. There are no ends, there are only beginnings. I'm Simon Williams reporting. What an inspiring lady. We want to thank Laurie for sharing her courage and her story with us. She was hesitant to share that birthday photo that you saw because she doesn't like people to see her uncovered head. But in her words, if we're doing an honest story, this may be the time to conquer that issue.